Hi Blake, so I've consulted the elders and the consensus is that we would be agreeable to provide you with a Shapeoko 3 XL on the condition that you are committed to being a good CNC parent and will put it to good use. So just to make one thing clear right off the bat, this entire video was made possible by some very generous contributions to my channel in the forms of tools and equipment from the following sponsors. Bits and Bits Company for high quality CNC router bits and end mills. Incra Tools, of course. The Suck It Dust Boot, also the maker of Oops Clamps for your CNC bed. Real Link wireless Wi-Fi security cameras. And of course, Carbide3D who makes the Shapeoko 3 CNC machine. It took a little time to put together, but with the instructions on their website, it's so simple, a six-year-old could do it. Finally, my new CNC moved to its new home at the back of the shop. So good, good boy, good boy, good boy. Everything was up and running and I was already putting it to work. But there was still one problem. Meet my new friend, Blender. The first thing I did after I built the main cabinet was add this rigid foam insulation to keep the sound levels down in my shop. I spray painted it white, but it's just this purple stuff from the big box store. I used Incra T-Tracks based every two inches to give me lots of options for holding down stock. The MDF wasteboard in between is modular in two main sections. Around the sides and back where the machine actually can't reach with the bit, I planed it down to 5 eighths of an inch. The main section that the machine can reach is made of easily replaceable 2 inch strips of 3 quarter inch MDF that I can level with the machine itself. And this sexy beast from Bits and Bits Company made that job easy.
These are called oops clamps. They hold your work down securely, but have a low profile so they stay safely out of the way of your spinning router bit. This is the touch probe from Carbide 3D. It perfectly zeroes your X, Y, and Z axis with just the push of a button. I use this wireless keypad for jogging the machine. I secured it with Velcro so I can easily pull it off to charge it. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. I wired up external power controls for all the main functions of the machine, including a safety shutoff switch that kills power to everything. In a separate compartment, I hid a dedicated dust collector just for the CNC. More rigid foam insulation keeps the noise down for the vacuum as well. Pegboard keeps some of the tools I use most for the CNC within reach. My compressor is directly below this cabinet, so I plumbed up an extra air chuck too. This is just one of those clamps you find for garden tools at a big box store. The flexible hose reaches everywhere in the enclosure for easy cleanup. This is the Suck It Dust Boot. Suck it. I make videos in my wood shop, so lighting's important even in my CNC enclosure. I wired my lighting into three different zones for that ultimate cinematic look. And speaking of making videos, I put GoPro mounts everywhere. This is a wireless security camera from RioLink. I set this one up so I can keep an eye on my project from anywhere on the property with my home Wi-Fi. I mounted this little thermometer to make sure my new friend stays nice and cool. I used magnets to keep a few other tools nearby. My new friend whipped up this router bit holder for me. And it's the perfect spot for a sweet collection of end mills from Bits and Bits Company. I want to say thanks again to everybody for the generous support on my channel and making this video possible. I'll put links in the description below for every product I use in this video. I'm a hobbyist woodworker in a one car garage wood shop. And if you want to see how I put this thing to use, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications. And I'm happy to answer questions, so leave them in the comment section. A huge thank you to my top supporters on Patreon, Swedish Nuts, Tud Duggerty, Antonio Magtoto, Robert Bonowski, Wood by Nate, Felix, and Mark Yates. If you want to support me and get a shout out at the end of one of these videos, just find me on Patreon. See you later.